Have you ever gotten a sunburn from spending a little too much time in the sun? I'm Tiffany and in this video we'll do an experiment to understand why this happens and how sunscreen protects our skin from the sun. For this experiment you will need scissors, sunglasses which are optional, some small solid objects, tape, a heavy weight, a large piece of plastic wrap, a marker, one piece of dark colored construction paper cut into four, sunscreen, and a sunny day. Make sure to have adult supervision when using scissors if it is necessary. To start with your four pieces of construction paper, label them with nothing, indoors, sunscreen, and object. In a sunny location, tape down each piece of paper except the indoor one. Cover them with plastic wrap. Weigh and or tape down the plastic wrap. For the sunscreen condition, apply sunscreen so that the entire piece of paper gets coverage. For the object condition, place your solid objects on top. I'm using a coin and some sunglasses. Take your indoor paper indoors. Leave your papers out in the sun for one and a half to two hours. After this time, remove the plastic wrap and examine and compare your papers. What you'll notice is that all the papers sitting in the sun lost color compared to the indoor paper. While the difference in color is subtle, the paper in the nothing condition looks slightly more yellow in color compared to the sunscreen condition. The sunglasses and the coin also left what looks like a shadow in the paper. Here's what the photo looks like at maximum contrast. So how did the sun change the colors of the paper? The sun emits lots and lots of energy, such as visible light rays that we can see and ultraviolet radiation, or UV rays. The UV rays that reach the surface of the earth can end up doing some damage. When the UV rays hit the construction paper, it is high enough energy that it breaks down the bonds of the chemicals which give the paper its color. This is why over time, colored items sitting in the sun can get sun bleached. Something similar happens when UV rays hit our skin. They can actually cause DNA damage within our cells, which triggers the inflammation and pain of a sunburn. In the worst case scenario, too much DNA damage could result in skin cancer, which is the uncontrolled or abnormal growth of skin cells. When our skin cells detect this damage, they produce the pigment melanin, which can absorb UV rays to prevent further DNA damage. This melanin is protective and can get darker in color, which is why our skin gets tanned with sun exposure. The reason why we wear sunscreen is because sunscreen is made of ingredients which can provide either a physical blockage of UV light by reflecting it off the skin, or a chemical blockage by absorbing UV light. This helps to prevent skin damage and reduce the risk of developing skin cancer. When we slathered on sunscreen over the plastic wrap, that provided some protection against the damaging UV rays of the sun. We can also see that using a solid object like a coin to block out the UV rays is even more effective. This is why wearing sun hats and sunglasses in addition to wearing sunscreen is a good move to protect us from the sun. However, going out in the sun is not all bad for you. UV radiation also triggers our body to produce vitamin D, which plays an important role in our bone development and absorption of other minerals. In summary, we learned that 1. The sun produces all kinds of energy, including UV rays and visible light. 2. UV rays can cause damage to things like chemicals in paper and DNA in our skin cells. 3. Sunscreen and melanin produced by our body provides either a physical or chemical blockage of the UV rays, protecting us from skin damage. Thanks for watching. Try this experiment out at home and make sure to tag Pueblo Science with your results. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok for more fun science content. Lastly, comment down below what you would like us to cover next.